A tale of betrayal. Two friends turn enemies. Who's right and who's wrong? There's only one way to find out. The rivalry between TJ Dillashaw and Cody Garbrandt has to be one of the ugliest in the UFC. This rivalry involves some personal history, a scandal, and two deadly championship fights. It may not have the same level of hype as John Jones' Daniel Cormier, or as Conor McGregor, Khabib Nurmagomedov, but this rivalry is as intense as any the sport has ever seen. From what we know, it all started when former UFC welterweight fighter Dwayne Ludwig became the head coach of Team Alpha Male. Ludwig was never really a top fighter in the UFC, but his coaching skills were top notch. Under Ludwig's coaching, members of the gym were collectively on a 17 fight win streak, but none of them were able to bring home UFC gold. The founder of the gym, Raya Faber, was given the opportunity to change the story and set an example for other fighters in the gym. He went up against Kenan Burrell for the UFC Bantamweight Championship, but was defeated via TKO in the first round. After Faber's loss, Ludwig confided in Faber about his plans to return to his home state of Colorado and establish his own gym. Faber didn't like the news and in turn, ended up telling the whole gym about it. Ludwig was obviously mad because he wanted to tell everyone else when he felt the time was right. Coupled with the fact that Ludwig and Faber had some underlying issues running the gym, Faber felt Ludwig was trying to ditch some of the fighters in the middle of their camps. And just like that, the Faber-Ludwig relationship was thrown straight into the trash can. But with Ludwig gone, a new rising star, TJ Dillashaw, did what no one in the gym had done before, and that's winning a UFC title. On May 24th, 2014, Dillashaw defeated Barrow to become the new UFC bantamweight champion. Entering on short notice as a massive underdog, Dillashaw didn't just pull off one of the biggest upsets in UFC history, he displayed one of the most dominant victories ever seen in the octagon. On the flip side, Dillashaw's win brought more beef than smiles between Faber and Ludwig. It became a tussle of who helped Dillashaw more in winning the title. The UFC set a rematch for TJ Dillashaw and Barrow in Sacramento, where Ludwig said he was looking to start up his own gym. Dillashaw then decided he wanted Ludwig to be his private coach for the rematch against Barrow. It was also around this time that Cody Garbrandt entered the picture. Cody Garbrandt made his Octagon debut at UFC 182. With only a few years of pro MMA experience, Garbrandt earned a statement win, knocking out Marcus Brimage. While at UFC on Fox, Dillashaw vs. Barral 2, Dillashaw successfully defended his title. So on one side, we had TJ Dillashaw making Team Alpha Male proud, and on the other, we had Cody Garbrandt also making the gym proud in the same division. Two good fighters from the same gym in the same division. There was bound to be competition at some point, and Conor McGregor was one of the few people to notice this. Fast forward to 2015, Conor McGregor and Faber were opposing coaches on The Ultimate Fighter season 22. McGregor was quick to spot Dillashaw as a snake in Team Alpha Male. He knew Dillashaw would eventually leave Team Alpha Male for Ludwig's gym at Sacramento. And the crazy thing is, he wasn't wrong. TJ Dillashaw finally announced his exit from Team Alpha Male. His exit made it clear that he was choosing Ludwig over Faber. Again, you don't need a soothsayer to tell you that TJ Dillashaw's leaving didn't sit right with Uriah Faber. TJ Dillashaw was then slated to defend his title against the biggest villain in Team Alpha of Male's existence, Dominic Cruz. Dominic Cruz, who has a long history with Faber and Team Alpha Male, reclaimed the UFC bantamweight title against Dillashaw via a split decision win. A few months after, the new bad guy in Team Alpha Male, Cody Garbrandt, re-entered the picture by defeating Dominic Cruz for the bantamweight title. The new hero, Cody Garbrandt, and the prodigal son, TJ Dillashaw, finally got booked to fight for the UFC bantamweight championship. And that's when the war of words began. TJ Dillashaw started the whole drama by telling MMA Fighting how he made Garbrandt cry, while Garbrandt fired back by saying he once knocked out Dillashaw during a sparring session. Here's the sparring video, by the way. Cody Garbrandt made it out to be such a big deal that he even opted selling it to TMZ. What's going on with you in this tape with TJ Dillashaw? You, you're saying you have this, this knockout tape and, and TJ saying you don't have it. I have it. 
you have it. Wait for TMZ to pay for it. How about that? <laughs> That's tell awesome. The, tell, tell the corporate guys what's up. The UFC then booked Cody and Dillashaw as coaches on the Ultimate Fighter Season 25. Nothing we didn't expect happened between the two. For several weeks, they got in each other's faces and vowed to do dreadful things to each other come fight night. You know, just regular TUF programming. But one of the moments that got people binge watching this season over and over again was one time when TJ Dillashaw got really into Garbrandt's face. Garbrandt then grabbed Dillashaw's throat like an eagle catching up on a snake. It was really brutal and looked so violent. Team members from both sides later got in to separate them. Finally, after the buildup, Cody Garbrandt and TJ Dillashaw went head to head at UFC 217 and this happened. TJ Dillashaw won, but Cody wasn't ready to accept defeat. TJ Dillashaw and Cody Garbrandt ran it back at UFC 227 with their roles reversed. Garbrandt had the opportunity to redeem himself, but instead, he suffered yet another devastating loss that would send his career into a downward spiral. He got knocked out in the first round by Dillashaw, proving that Dillashaw is actually the better fighter. Garbrandt went on to collect four losses in his next five fights, while Dillashaw went ahead to challenge Henry Cejudo for the UFC Flyweight Championship. If Dillashaw has a second life in another universe, he'd definitely not make the mistake of challenging Cejudo again. Henry Cejudo embarrassed him during their fight by winning in just 13 seconds of the first round. What was even more embarrassing was the fact that Dillashaw tested positive for a banned substance in the UFC. This made the fans feel both his wins over Garbrandt might have not been legitimate. At the end of the day, both fighters had their own battles to face after their encounters. But what really made this rivalry insane is the fact that it was a test of trust. The trust they had with their coaches and the bond they could have shared if they were still together at Team Alpha Male. While we might never get to see that bond between them, we might get to see a trilogy fight soon. Who knows? While you're still here, check out this other cool video showing on your screen right now. Till next time, bye.